So it has occurred to me that my YouTube channel is literally nothing but me just buying expensive shit. And so here we are again. So X570 just launched and I wanted to go out today and pick up an X570 motherboard. However, a lot of the local suppliers have really got none at all. So that was kind of disappointing and sort of a wasted trip really, but not really. But anyway, so the motherboard that I wanted to get was the, um, the Asus X570 Pro. Um, not just not just looks pretty cool, but also has a ton of features on it as well, and a ton of USB connectivity. But again, none of that is locally available. I know you would have thought with such a massive launch such as this that there would be stock of everything available, but there just isn't. So anyway, that's another topic for another video. But with that being said, I did not leave empty handed because I did get the second thing that I wanted to grab, which was this bad boy. The Corsair AX850 850 watt power supply with an 80 plus titanium rating. This thing is massively, massively overkill for what I need it for. But the main reason I would actually need it is for the, is for that right there. The two EPS connectors, which on the X570 Pro, there is an 8-pin and a 4-pin. So that will come in very useful as well. I've been wanting a new power supply for quite a long time. I originally wanted a Be Quiet power supply, but again, none of those are locally available. So I just kind of, you know, have to, I don't know, make do, I guess, you know, whatever. So now, I took the liberty yesterday of pre-disassembling everything, and I really don't know if that was a terribly good idea because I've got PC components kind of all over the place at the minute. And I'm gonna have to do that all again anyway when I, do get the motherboard that I have ordered. So, yeah, now I'm gonna have to put all this mess back together. Now the purpose of, you know, the X570 launch was also for the fact, you know, Zen 2. And because of Zen 2, I don't know what to do with this guy. This is my current CPU that I'm wearing, it's the Ryzen 7 1700. An incredible CPU, an incredible and so incredible in fact is that do I even really need to upgrade it because I'm pretty sure that I really don't. The CPU has been running really well so far, especially with all the, hard the other hardware that I've got. This is a monster PC and I'm just not sure. I'm just really not sure what I want to do. I may go for the, the 12 core 3900X, but again, I'm not going to do that straight away because again, I just, I just don't need to. I just don't need to. All right, anyway, time to put all this back together. Keep feeding that through, just keep feeding it through, and eventually this will just slide in, sli slide in nice and fine like, there we go, there we go. I mean, there's probably people triggered at this already, the fact that I'm still on carpet, but whatever. You can build a PC on carpet, it's not bad. All right, so power supply is in, pretty much. Just gotta hook up a couple things and we've got one final stage to go. And if nobody is triggered yet by the fact that I'm doing this on carpet, we're just about to start. I think actually that was relatively straightforward, you know, putting in a new power supply, not, not too bad at all. 
Um, everything is now all hooked up nice and easy. The power supply having modular cables really makes a difference to the uh, amount of stuff that you have to shove in the bottom of the case. Again, cable management is not that bad, I'm going to be honest. It's not that bad. But again, it could be better as well. But again, this is only sort of temporary until my motherboard gets here. Um, so, yeah. Alright, now the real moment of truth is trying to fire this thing up. And so we are back up and running and the best thing about being back up and running is the fact that we no longer have to deal with phone audio. Very happy about that. So yes, everything is now up and running, temperatures seem to be fine, everything seems to be working. The only hiccup I really noticed was actually the PCIe power cord which was very very stiff for some reason so it was very difficult to work with. and and that but that's really the only thing that I've really noticed um, the other thing that I have really noticed straight away is power draw is actually ever so slightly less than what I was seeing before I was generally seeing around 125 to 130 watts idle but now I'm seeing around what 118 119 so yeah it's about a 8 9 10 watt less power draw which already shows the efficiency of this power supply so to summarize I've got a lot to look forward to and a lot of the heavy lifting has already been done and I'm really looking forward to this new motherboard.